What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Take a look at this. Republicans and Democrats agree Social Security reform needs to happen, but they're divided on how. Social Security's trust fund faces depletion dates within the next decade in about nine years based on the latest uh, estimate, which means reduced benefits if nothing is done sooner. Republicans have proposed forming a bipartisan commission to look at the issue. Some worry that may lead to benefit cuts. Quote, this is the first step House Speaker Kevin McCarthy told Fox News shortly after the debt ceiling deal indicated he planned to form a bipartisan commission, saying, quote, the majority driver of the budget is mandatory spending. That was off the table during the debt ceiling negotiations, McCarthy said, including Social Security, Medicare, and interest on the debt. The idea of forming a commission to look at Social Security is not new. A 1983 commission led by Alan Greenspan would later serve as a Federal Reserve chairman, including a report that served as a basis for Social Security legislation. Social Security reform has been on Congress's to-do list for a year, but the latest estimates from the program's trustee show how dire the situation has become and more urgent. The program's combined funds set to run out in 2034, one year sooner than previously projected, at which point 80% of benefits would only be payable, which would mean a 20% reduction in benefits. But the funds used to pay retirement benefits is due to run out even sooner in 2033, just a decade away, according to trustees. Other Republicans have called for commissions. In January, Representative Tom Coles, Republican from Oklahoma, Jake Laterna, Republicans from Kansas, reintroduced a bill called the Bipartisan Social Security Commission that calls for the formation of a bipartisan commission that would provide recommendations for approving, improving the program. Quote, it is time for Congress to address this issue in earnest or these funds will dry up and leave millions of American seniors at risk, he said in a statement. Meanwhile, prescription drug makers are aiming to strike down a Medis Medicare drug price negotiations in the Supreme Court uh, which was recently passed here uh, so that they can charge you more for prescription drugs. Merck and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and Bristol and Myers Squibb have sued the Biden administration over Medicare's new prescription drug price negotiations. Merck is suing the federal government over the Medicare price negotiation provision of the Inflation Reduction Act, calling it, quote, political kabuki theater, arguing that, quote, the program takes property for public use without just compensation in violation of the Fifth Amendment, adding that it creates the false impression that innovators like Merck are voluntarily uh, participants in its program by coercing them to sign an agreement, conveying that the government set prices that are fair and re a result of negotiation. Now, under the IRA, the government will identify 10 drugs this fall in September in Medicare Part D, which have been on the market for more than nine years for the beginning of the negotiations. Those discounted prices would go into effect with the 2026 Medicare plans. Another 15 would be added the following year with Part B drugs and fusions administered by clinicians added in 2028. Analysts say potentially 60 drugs would be discounted by 2030. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that the IRA drug pricing measures as a result could cut the deficit by about $130 billion between 2022 and 2030. Legal experts say the pharmaceutical industry will file more lawsuits this fall as big drug, make drug makers are ultimately aiming to take down, take battle to the Supreme Court and strike down the law. We are also seeing here um, pharma, P-H-R-M-A, is suing over Medicare drug pricing prescriptions here as well.
Yeah, that's the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America announced Wednesday it is suing the Biden administration over its signature measure to lower drug prices, calling it unconstitutional so that they can make more money and Americans can pay more. Yeah. The move is an escalation in the pharmaceutical industry's battle against the law which allows Medicare to negotiate prices on some drugs and could be a hurdle for the provisions implementing lower drug prices from going into effect. Yeah, so remember the United States pays far more than any other country in the world for prescription drugs, for the exact same prescription drugs. Yeah, so you can go and buy the exact same prescription drugs in other first world countries like Canada or in Europe or in Mexico and um, the exact same prescription drugs sold by the exact same companies are far cheaper. In some, times, in some cases, they're 10 times more money in the United States for the exact same prescription drug. Why is it? Because they just can price gouge the United States and the Americans well, at least it's because they think they can price gouge Americans or at least can get away with it. Yeah, so you can let me know your thoughts here on this, but um, should they be allowed to do this? You can let me know your thoughts here in the comments, but they are being allowed here to do it. The VA, Veterans Affairs, uh, and, you know, God bless our, our troops and people that have served our country. The VA has been allowed to negotiate prescription drug pricing for many, many years. Why can't Medicare, um, you can let me know your thoughts here in the comments, and save our government and save Americans billions of dollars? It literally doesn't make any sense to me. But the VA has been doing this for a while, and studies show that they save up to 50% on a lot of prescriptions. So the VA can do it, but Medicare and the, the rest of the government can't. Yeah, this is how screwed up our system is, and the pharmaceutical companies want to fight it tooth and nail so that they can charge you more money. I mean, you can let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? I mean. If, if you're left, right, or center, I don't know, but it seems like it's a good thing for the American people, and it's a bad thing for pharmaceutical companies that want to make billions and billions of dollars more than the billions and billions of dollars they already make. And remember, they're just literally just charging other countries less money because they're just price gouging us. They're just price gouging us. So I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country on a daily basis. You can let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon if you haven't yet. It's completely free to do so. You can click here to see a new warning from the U.S. Postal Service about sending your mail through the USPS. Or you can click here to see President Biden's new uh, Social Security raise that they want to pass. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.